First time I've shot a deer with my 12 gauge Mossberg in about four years. Pretty cool. I think it still works. Hey folks, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. I'm out the first weekend in December on an afternoon that I got a little bit of time to do some walking. I actually am gonna go ahead and uh, change out a camera from one place that I had this year that wasn't real successful to a place that I wanna scout this winter. So I'm gonna get the camera out uh, December and January and into early February and get an idea of how many deer are in that area and what bucks might have survived the gun season and the archery season. Uh, I did it earlier this week with two cameras. So what's nice about this afternoon is since it's a weekend I get a little bit more time that I don't have to walk super fast and I can actually do a little bit of stalking uh, as I go out to this camera and bring it back and then go to a second place where I'm going to put it out. So here we go enjoying an afternoon on a weekend in December. south wind today so I'm walking the very edge of this property going north so the wind is blowing to the direction that I'm going but there's no uh, way else to do it on this square piece of public property so I'm gonna hug the west edge of this property and get all the way out to the tip of a ridge and then as I come around that ridge I'm going to slowly stalk south, back to where my camera is, pick it up, and then slowly stalk back to the truck. Might not be as bad a shape as I thought walking along this edge, because this is southwest wind, and if I walk around the west edge of this property in a northern direction, then my wind's going to be blowing into the private off to my left as I walk in. So I may go a little bit slower coming in here as well. fresh bed right there probably within the last 24 hours great view down below So it was probably a couple of dough. Wind's coming down this hill so they can smell anything behind them. They can see anything down below them. They're smart.
that was kind of cool. Had a doe tag, crept over this edge, doe staring up at me, had no clue what I was, took my time, shot. Looked like I hit her first time, she ran straight downhill, then disappeared into the brush. I'm gonna come down real quick here though and mark this spot. Pretty nice bed right there. Great view down below her. Like we said, southwest wind coming here. So she did not have my wind. Where the bed is right here, my wind was blowing towards the bed and over to the left. And I came from the left, so she definitely did not have my wind, that's for sure. Here's where she came into this bed, walked in. Lay it down here. It's been laying here a while. There's bunches of hair in here. No doubt about it, man. She kicked up a ton of stuff running down this hill right there. Okay, I'm gonna go get my camera after I mark this spot on Onyx. And then we'll come back and track her. If you look. There's blood right there, right away. Sweet, man. That's exactly what I wanted to happen this afternoon. Take my time, stalk slowly. Go ahead and see if I can get a doe. Got two tags left, and that would be one. Just got to grab my camera, come back, and uh, go ahead and track her. Sweet, yeah! Dude, I'm pumped, man. That is awesome. Woohoo! Man, what a turnaround this season was from last year. Man, I don't get how deer can do this so easily. Holy moly. Talk about being adapted to the environment they live in. Holy crap. That was only like 15 yards. So about the second week of October, this was a pretty active scrape right here. So I came in on this logging trail and put my trail camera up here over the scrape. So I'm gonna grab this camera. I'm gonna head back to the truck and I'm gonna drive around to the other side of the property before. So I'm walking out this logging road right now. I'm gonna walk up across an area in which we found a ton of buck rubs last year, um, which was one of the places that I really thought I was gonna have a chance to get a deer today. But hey, I didn't even get that far. My plan worked to be able to drop down over that slope and find a deer better than that steep slope with the winds hitting him in the back and her looking forward and I was walking quiet enough and the leaves are not frozen but they're wet that I was able to creep within about 40 yards of her popped up over the bank she was just staring up at me so I took my time wasn't in a rush made sure it wasn't a button buck and then uh, went ahead and took my shot Went and checked, found hair and blood right away. So I'm heading back to the truck right now because this property can be accessed by two sides. Actually, the side I came in on was a further walk, but it was also the wind direction that I wanted. Uh, and obviously it worked out. So I'm heading back right now. I'll drive around to the other side and then I'll go to the waypoint I put on Onyx. And I'll go ahead and uh, find her trail where I left it off near her bed and I'll go ahead and track it. Yeah. So how'd you make out PA? Uh, I killed a nice eight point yeah. uh, first day. Nice. Um, that was a eight point that I'm fairly certain I had within 27 yards. Uh, 
you know, archery season. Right. And uh, he uh, still in the rut. Yeah. You know, he wasn't pressured at all. I, I kind of sat in, in a saddle, and I, I figured any, any deer that would come by me was bumped bumped to me. Right. And um, <clears throat> he came following in a little buck. I ended up grunting him in. Nice. He's at 100 yards, and I grunted. I'm sitting there, and uh, <laughs> I'm sitting there just like chilling, and he didn't come in. And I had a big pine tree in between him and I. I'm sitting there, I'm like, ah, well, you know, that's probably, you know, the end, end of the road there. So I'm sitting there and like 15 minutes goes by. I hear a little pop right to the left of me. I look over and 50 yards away, he's staring like where I, I directed the grunt. Right. I'm just sitting there, I'm like, click. <laughs> that's know? awesome. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Was that Saturday or Sunday? That was Saturday. Saturday? Yeah, it was Saturday, yeah. 7 o'clock. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. perfect. You got the whole day to relax and enjoy. Oh. Everybody else is still out there pounding away, and Sunday was rainy and miserable. I, I had a yeah. two-mile drag. Oh. Yeah. Um, I got there at 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And actually, I flashed, like, five guys coming in on the spot, so. I did, too. I Two yeah. going in where I was in the Allegheny Forest. Yeah. Same thing. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's public land. Yeah, that's the, you know? that's the fun part about it. Yeah. Well, congratulations, yeah, man. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So now up in New York trying to get buck and doe or? Uh, uh, just a buck. In just man. a buck. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so. cool. yeah. Yeah, feeling pretty good about it. I mean, I've been seeing, not the right one. I've right. been seeing a buck, you know. Yeah. Good, good amount of buck up here. Just, you know, nothing. I'm just looking for a full curl. You know, there that's you all go. I'm asking yep. for. <laughs> Absolutely. So. Yeah, well, good luck to yeah, you. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. out uh, i met another hunter from uh, pennsylvania up here hunting for the afternoon and kind of funny he said he just started hunting new york last year i just started hunting pa last year both of us on public we were both talking about how there hasn't been any acorns so we really don't totally understand the woods of each other's neighbor states but that's pretty cool it's a great guy we had a really nice conversation talked a bit showed each other some of the deer we've shot in the last year it's just the camaraderie you find out in the woods with other hunters is is awesome so took a picture of chris and i and he's on the, the front cover of this youtube video man let's take a look here on onyx and figure out the best path to get back here and uh, get back up to the spot at which i shot her to start the trail so i'm heading in now to go ahead and find where i shot her and found first blood then go ahead and track her it's much closer on this side and it's much flatter so hopefully she's in a situation that she uh ran back to the truck that'll make life a little bit easier on it we'll see this was a property that my dog timber and i had scouted last april on a real rainy day after work and uh i saw more sign of fresh deer poop in here than any other place that I had scouted last year. I only got in here to hunt once. Uh, there was a lot of pressure that I saw, uh, but who knows? May end up coming back here a little bit more this next year coming up. Amazing what these animals can do. She was sitting way up on top of that steep face and she sprinted down this hill in about 10 bounds. Okay, now I gotta get up there to find out where I shot her. So I'm just getting ready to go up this hill and uh, I find her tracks here and uh, find spots of blood, but not a ton of blood. That worries me a little bit, to say the least. You can see where she ran down the hill right there. So instead of going all the way up, this is where we're going to start the track. There's some blood on those leaves right there. where she barely bled. And now, 
she's bleeding down here. And I'm trying to keep an eye open to make sure that she doesn't jump up on me. Ooh. That kind of steep if I slipped. Expected to see her just over that rise. Well, there she is. Whew. Probably went about 120 yards or so. Nice size doe. I cannot believe she ran that far with what that slug gun does to a front shoulder. Really cool, I'm excited. This is my second doe of the year. I'm gonna go ahead and get her tagged right now and uh, go back and get the cart, get her out of here, take her home, butcher her, and fresh venison in the freezer, man. I'm pumped, woohoo, yeah! Sweet. Thank you, young lady. How can you beat that, man? This is the second deer that I've shot this year. I train towards the road. Woo, making it easy on me. Sweet. Doe in the books, baby. <laughs>